Hey everybody, it's Technoli again. And today we have a repair. A guy got a hold of me and told me that he bought this uh, MacBook Air 2011 used. And he said, but it doesn't work. It won't boot up. So I said, okay, send it in. So it turns out there's no hard drive in it. So we're going to try to do a repair. Let's get started. Okay, so I opened it up. Let me show you. I opened up the back of it, and sure enough, there's no hard drive in it. So right here, on these, this is where it goes, and it looks like just a standard, you know, SSD M2 slot, but it's not. Of course, it's Apple's own slot. So I went on Amazon and I found this cute little adapter. Okay, so this little adapter goes in the slot and then you can put a standard M.2 SSD card in it. Before, the only way to do this was, I think it was OWC that had a replacement hard drive, but they were so expensive. It was more expensive than just throwing away the laptop. And I mean, just forget about it. Several hundred dollars. So we're gonna test this and see if it works. So what you do is, it comes with, comes with a screwdriver and some screws. Okay. So luckily, the screw for the old, original SATA drive is still in it. So we can reuse that. So let's take this out. Now I've got, this is a T4 screw right here. All right, so that just slides into there. Easy, easy to do. I've got a, a link to this adapter in the description below. Then I bought this uh, ADATA 256 gigabyte hard drive, and I think it was like uh, $40. So definitely worth the repair, because the adapter was only $14. All right, so what we'll do is take this out, just a regular M.2. Put it in there, and then it comes with a couple screws, but the screws are Phillips, so we'll switch our tip over. Put it in there, and put one screw in to hold the hard drive down. Pretty cool, huh? That's all there is to it. Now, let's see if it boots up. So we've got an investment of about $55 in hardware now. Okay, so now we'll hold Option, Command, and R, and then press the on-off button. And just keep holding those keys down. This is so we can get into recovery mode. Just keep holding them down do you see the recovery mode come up there it is starting internet recovery this may take a little while well it does take a long time so I'm not gonna make you wait we'll just come back when this comes up to the next step we're gonna make sure that we can see the new hard drive okay so once it comes up here you got to choose your network so just grab on your network and then put in your password and click Check mark. And then it'll start to install, partially install the operating system so we can get to the disk utility. So I'll come back after this is done. 
Okay, so we are back, and what we have here is the disk utility. So this comes up, you just click on this, and then click continue. And then in here, we should see our new SATA drive. There it is, the A data. We go ahead and erase it, and we can call it whatever we want. I'm going to call it Mac HD. All right, and make sure it's on Mac OS Extended Journal. Click Erase, Erase. And once this is done, we can start uh, installing the operating system. And this is all done through the internet connection. So it takes quite a bit of time, but it works. Okay, once you see that this has popped up here, just click Cancel, Reinstall Mac OS, click Continue, and it's going to install by default Lion. Then we can upgrade after that. So just click Continue, Continue, and there it goes. Agree. Agree, agree. And then select your hard drive. And as you can see, it's installing the operating system. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe. And we'll see you on the next video. If you have any questions about your PC problems, please leave me a comment below. Thanks again.